Each year, an estimated 1.7 million Americans cross the border to seek medical services outside of the country. Many of these medical tourists are turning to Mexico. The reasons vary, but dentist Jose Luis Ortega Fernandez says the main reasons are the price differences and the patient-doctor relationship. Pacientes americanos que buscan calidad y there are American patients that look for quality and that receive the same treatment they get in the United States, but with a lower cost. Another reason why they come is because in the United States you get a consultation and they refer you to a lab specialist, and the time it takes from one consultation to another is too long. The patient feels that they don't have the special treatment that they get in Mexico. Mexico is just one of the many countries where Americans can save 40 to 65 percent when they get treated across the border. For the uninsured, Mexican health care can be a more affordable option. We have incredibly good medical care if you can afford it. If you can't afford it, you get no care except to the emergency room. And so for the lower middle class and the lower class who are uninsured, we have a terrible medical system because we have virtually no coverage. But even those with health insurance are finding it more appealing to travel south for their medical services. And I do have health care here. Health care here, as a matter of fact, I have really good health care here because my dad was in the military for, for 25 years. Jordan Almeida is a sophomore at the University of Laverne with great coverage. But he says he prefers the service he receives in Mexico. Their health care is really good. I mean, I, that's, that's why I go there, that's why I continue to go there, is not just because it's cheaper, but I've just received such good attention there. The most popular procedures Americans have done are dental work, high blood pressure treatment, and plastic surgery. Others, like Jose Chiquito, go to Mexico for life-saving treatment. Uh, two years, two years and a half ago, I was diagnosed with a severe uh, type of cancer, a tumorous, um, and it actually was pretty aggressive. Chiquito is a biology student at the University of Laverne. When he first became sick, he sought treatment in the United States. And they told me that I had to wait at least for a month. And I had to make appointments with doctors and specialists like oncologists, and I couldn't wait. I had to go to Mexico. In Mexico, he was treated immediately. It was a Thursday morning. A Thursday night, I was already hospitalized and ready for surgery. The cost? 2,500 uh, pesos, it's uh, about $2,500, so it was a pretty good price for all of that. I spoke to the general doctor at Healthy Baja Group in Tijuana, Mexico, who says she's seen all kinds of ailments in the people coming from the United States, and a lot of it is minor health problems. Okay, more than anything, we see diabetic people, chronic diseases, degenerative diseases, and high blood pressure. I can tell you that besides diabetes and high blood pressure, the other main reason is stress. With Mexico less than 140 miles away, I decided to travel to Tijuana to check out Mexican health care services for myself. I stopped at the Healthy Baja group to have a cavity filled. I was seen in 15 minutes and done in an hour. It cost me $45. If I had needed to see a specialist, there are a number of them in the building and in the clinics down the block. In the waiting room, I met Monica Flores, an American who traveled to Tijuana to see a doctor for her child. In the past, she has come for plastic surgery. I got boobs and I had a tummy tuck. It's much cheaper. While medical services in Mexico may be cheaper, are they as safe as in the United States? The people I spoke with said make sure you do your research before going. You've been a patient here and you can recommend it or not. But if someone comes without being familiar, without knowing, well, they can be a victim of getting caught with a bad doctor or an imposter that isn't even what he claims to be. Mexico does have a regulating commission called the Secretary of Health that checks hospitals and clinics once or twice a year. They make sure we have the medicine that's current, that you have your diploma, that you're prepared, that you're certified, that you form a part of a college of medics, and that you're updating your knowledge constantly, and that you have your papers in order. With the passage of Obamacare, medical tourists may soon be putting their passports away. According to the experts, medications will be cheaper and access to medical care more affordable. People will pay a very minimal amount of money per prescription. And quite often the insurance companies will have a, an automatic refill that's even less uh, costly. And so what's going to happen is the, the demand side will, in, will decrease greatly. 
as the supply becomes more available to those who are insured. And so why would you go to Mexico and you can get the same drugs at even less expense here in the United States? While Obamacare will make access to medical services easier in the U.S., the time doctors spend with patients and the cultural familiarity of Mexico will continue to entice some medical tourists to cross the border.